I'm by name Dr. Abiona John, presently the Hall Warden. I'm presenting a topic titled Student Accommodation, Hosted Facilities and Use. Uh, everybody or everyone listening to me must know the reason or the need for students to be accommodated. Um, most of the important reasons are number one, that the students that are being accommodated, accommodated uh, will definitely experience less transport, transportation stress. Also, having students being accommodated in the hostel uh, we also keep students within learning environment without having to be moving here and there and uh, faced with serious uh, problem of getting to school on time. Uh, students staying on hostels are also being provided with easy access to educational facilities. It is quite easy for them to move to lecture room and from lecture room to library and from library they can also assess the laboratory practicals using the right uh, equipment and facilities and also it also encourages social interactions among the students which lead which can lead to uh, lifelong familiarities among students it also enable heterogeneous uh, students to learn from each other. Here in FUNAP, the also facilities that we have are as follows. Iyalo de Tinobu, which is known to be the female hostel wing, has both old and new block. We also have the marble which has four main hostels together. And for the male, we have the Umar Kabir Hall, which has block A, B, C, and D. Uh, we also have needs assessments for female alone, and we also have the needs assessment hostel for male alone as well. And newly, we have the PG hostel, which is meant for both male and female. The, uh, the picture above shows the four prominent uh, hostels among those ones that have been mentioned in this presentation. That is, the needs assessment for both male and female by the left and right side of the uh, of the uh of the slide also we have the yellow de tinubu by the left and the human kabir by the right the mabu lodge as been given before is also there now what are the appropriate step for intending occupant of the hostel facility we need to take. Number one, there is need for planning because each of those hostel facilities has their capacity in terms of the number of bed spaces and also the cost implication. And there is need for every intended occupant to now plan which one of those facilities we such intended occupant would like to assess or to bid for. Having gotten information about the space, there is now need for such intended occupant to now grab the appropriate hostel by bidding. I think when it's at appropriate time, information on bidding for the hostel will be given to all intending occupants. And after that, payment has to be made 
and such intended occupants will be given access to occupy the hostel. Now, our, our hostel facilities in Funab here has the following uh, listed facilities. We have electricity, there are water supply, there are waste disposal facilities, there are drainages, we have security posts, there are internet connectivity, there are common rooms, toilet and bathrooms of the latest states of the heart equipment. You have the laundry and the wall finishes. All these are meant to beautify the environment in which the student lives in. But before we go far, there is need for every intending occupant to know that appropriate care must be given to the facility. And this particular table is titled Hostel Accommodation Shortfall in Federal University in Nigeria due to maintenance of the facilities. This study, there was a study that was carried out by uh, National University Commission 20, 2003. And it was discovered that the total enrollment of students, fees are fees, the total number of bed space available. And considering the fact that the number of bed spaces available over time decreased as a result of what? Of percentage accommodation shortfall, which was as a result of the low level of maintenance low level i mean bad use of these hostel facilities by the students which make the best spaces availability to decrease over years now it is on this note that every intending occupant needs to know how to use hostel facilities and the first thing that every intending occupant after being successfully given a location must be aware of the fact that instructions and guidelines pasted on the hostel information board on the use of facilities must be strictly adhered to. All electrical fittings within the hostel area should also be handled with care. Anything that, are, that could lead to fire outbreak, especially the use of candle, are being seriously prohibited such that furniture, bed, chairs and all other things within the room and the common room should not be put into jeopardy. Drainages and plumbing facilities also should not be blocked with materials that are not properly disposed. All gadgets also, be it electrical or mechanical, should be handled with care. Now, this plate shows the list of facilities that are being mostly affected in hostel accommodation. We have the wardrobe, the shelf, reading corner, internet facilities, kitchen electrical fittings, televisions, fans, air conditioner, air conditioners, waste disposal facilities, and the recreational facilities around the hostel should be well taken care of all these when badly handled do lead to depreciation to so serious depreciation of the hostel facilities and also reduces the availability of the best space allocation so it is on this note that every intending occupant should make sure that when given this opportunity, they should take good and adequate care of, the, of these facilities. It's on this note that I'm giving advice for intending occupants that the use of hostel facility rightly will not only give chance to others coming in the nearest future, but we reduce the cost 
of maintenance for the university and also brighten the chance of others that we make use of the facilities in the nearest future. Thank you for very much for listening. As my Japanese friends would say, Doma Arigato. Thanks very much.